I really like to use this fan for the light to film stuff here. It can cause a glare on my tabletop, uh, which I don't really like on my footage when I'm making stuff on the tabletop, but I still like the placement of it. It's a good light and I like having a fan in here. I was thinking there should be some kind of diffuser, so I made one. Right now, there's little Velcro pieces on the fan blades to hold this thing. So this is a, basically an octagon shape cut out of really cheap Ikea curtain material. I just needed something white and a little thin, not too thick, for light to come through. And so I cut this shape out. I glued ribbon to the trim of it with fabric fusion glue just to keep the edges from fraying and it gives kind of a nice uh, rigid border to the shape of it. Then on the corners, I glued the other Velcro pieces to attach to the fan blades. I just taped the fan little thing. I don't know what those are called. I taped them to the light because they were getting in the way of my camera, my tripod. So let's say I'm gonna film today and I don't like the light, so I wanna diffuse it because it's too bright and it's bouncing off my table. I just attach. And in case you're wondering, yes, it does hold on uh, when I also like that it is just a piece of fabric, really easy to remove, and if I don't need it, I can just fold it up and it doesn't take up very much space because I could just fold it like a pillowcase. I already went through this whole making process with my patrons. I showed them a sneak peek a while ago on my patron lens clips. Um, it's available to my Thanks A Latte patrons. Got some vinyl backdrops, which I'm really excited to use for um, new tabletops for doing projects on and taking pictures of my projects on. They are made by a company in the UK called Club Backdrops. I think this is 24 by uh, 39, so they're pretty big. So I usually have like Here's my camera and then I have my paper backdrops and so, and I also use my table, of course. And I like my workbench table, but sometimes I want to mix it up and have different backgrounds. This is a metal texture and this is a kind of a neutral wood. I got a, like a blue, a white, and then a terrazzo. These will be really fun to film on. I am excited. I just want to like take a bunch of pictures right now on top of them. So I, I did research some other companies that make these kind of things, but this was in the perfect size that I needed. Not square, rectangle, and good quality and a decent price range. They are non-glare. There's like a slight glare from my window, but obviously like if this were glossy, it'd be way more noticeable. So I really like that it looks like a natural tabletop like that. Also, because they're vinyl, I can wipe these clean if I get like paint on it versus paper. Um, it's kind of ruined if I just get paint on it. And the print quality is really good. That's another key thing. For storage wise, I wasn't sure, I'm still not sure how to store them. This is the other one. I was testing if I should sandwich it back here, but it's vinyl and I think it might sag more than uh, paper. So thinking since this is a closet, maybe I should try just hanging them. Um, I really need to reorganize this entire closet. Um, the shelf is just not working in its full capacity for my organizing needs right now, but it's just kind of a, a mess right now. And I also need to organize this whole thing because there's some paper that 
um, doesn't work anymore. I'll continue to keep my cutting mat back there. It's a good place. And it's convenient that they come with this strip of white on top so it has something to hang from. Luckily I had six of these in my closet, so that works out perfectly. I have six vinyls, but now my pants don't have hangers. There it is. Will they slide out and fall on the floor? So when I want to grab a background, I'll just come over here, slide one out, not hit the wall behind it, bring it over to my workbench, maybe not leave the hanger on it, and then film. Cool. <laughs>